Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are actually continuing on with our plane right here. As you guys can see, it is actually getting quite good, I would say. Um, in this video, actually, you are probably going to hear some drilling. There is work going on in my house. Uh, there's also some beeping going on inside this room. And you might also hear my air freshener go every once in a while, so that's a thing. But anyway, today what I figured we'd do is install an aerial refueling system onto our plane. So I guess let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so we do actually need to figure out where this aerial refueling system should go because uh, obviously there are a few places that it could go and there are a few places that it should go and a few places where it shouldn't go. Uh, we also need to understand which kind of refueling system we want. So for example, there are refueling systems that are like arms uh, that like boom out like this and then the, uh, the probe actually attaches onto those or... In the case of, I don't know, maybe the B2, uh, it actually just has a hole on the roof and the uh, the tanker boom actually goes into it. So, yeah. I don't know which way to do it on this thing. I'm feeling like it should be uh, the tanker boom that does all the work. Uh, but at the same time, I don't really know. Uh, we could actually have a boom right next to our, our guns and that would work too. Um, but I'm not sure. I don't know where we should put it. Not gonna lie. I don't know. Okay, so I do feel like it should be on the top, and I feel like it should be behind us, uh, in terms of the driver's seat, so, or the pilot, I should say. Uh, and I am kind of feeling like it should be off to one side, so we'll probably put it over here. Uh, and, yeah. Alright, this seems like a good idea to me. So, we're gonna go ahead and delete this guy right here, this guy, this guy, this guy, and, um, it is actually just gonna be a refueling port, uh, in the side. So, actually, we'll put it right here. This is good. Okay, cool, so... This is okay so far. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a fluid connector. I guess it isn't a hose anchor. It is actually the connector. Uh, and that's going to go right on there like that. That's very good. We're then going to bring this backwards and down. So we need some pipes. Here we go. Uh, and this should be fine, I think. So we'll actually have this go... Hmm. We're actually going to use an actual pipe here. Which is weird. But we're going to keep it in. There we go. Uh, we're going to have that block be that color as well. Which is strange, but we're going to roll with it. Alright, cool. There we go, have this bit go down and under. And if we can figure out where that is, in terms of this stuff, that would be great. Alright, because I don't know where the fuel tanks are. <laughs> I'm trying to find them, but I don't know where they are. Alright, so we're going to have to go all the way backwards like this. And then into the fuel tank, which is here. Okay, and then actually, we're going to have to go across somehow to the other side and do that area too. Okay, ideas. We're going to delete this. And we're going to have it be this high. Okay. So we're going to fill that in right there. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to have this come backwards and down. Uh, and then we should be able to have a hose go across and attach to the other side. So it'll fill up both tanks at the same time. Maybe. I don't know. Okie dokie. So this is actually looking good so far. This is completely fine. Uh, we will have to add some sort of, yeah, some sort of feature that allows it to go sideways. Uh, so I'm thinking we actually add some straight pieces on right here. There we go. Uh, we don't actually have enough unless we do. All right, do that. There we go. And then do something like, oh god, if it came out and then up and then sideways again, we might be able to hide it at least a little bit. So, okay, right. So I'm thinking we have a T piece right here. Okie dokie. We need to figure out which way around this is. So like that. There we go. That's awesome. We then need it to come upwards, like that, there we go, and then backwards like this, and then we need a, a hose connector on there. Hose connector. There we go, we'll put it right there, very good. And then we sort of need this to go on the other side as well, and then go in that way. Alright, I guess that'll be fine. That's okay. Okay, so then it goes down, and then it goes in, and that is okay, like that. We'll then have this bit go slightly sideways. There we go, just like this. And we'll have this bit attached straight onto there, just like that. That's pretty good. Okay, interesting. And then realistically, on both sides, actually, on both sides, we need them to do the same thing. So we need this bit to come in. There we go. We need it to come all the way to here, which is fine. Uh, and that'll work. So we need a fluid. Floyd. Flu. 
a fluid port. That's what we need, a fluid port right here, like this. Okay, and then we just need some pipes to attach all that together. And that's it. It should be the same on both sides, so we should be okay to do this. There we go, drag this all the way across to there. Like that, there we go, delete this guy. Grab this piece, make it go upwards, make it go in, and that is fine. I think. Hopefully it works on both sides. Because if it doesn't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. We do need to test that as well. So we will actually uh, test it somehow uh, via this method right here. So this is going to go to one tank. Okay, on this side. Okay, and then this is going to go to this tank on this side. Just like this. And we're going to have them start empty. And then we'll fill them up. I think that's fine. I think that's okay to do. So... Go ahead and do that, and yeah, we'll start filling them up, and we'll see. Where is the, uh, where's the, there it is. Okay, so it's going to be diesel, and that doesn't matter, because we are not using this plane right now, but there we go. So, pump reverse, hose out, there we go. Hose out is happening. Yes, it is. We need to figure out how to get on top of this plane, <laughs> which is easy, I think, if we just grab this. There we go. And we go like this. There we go, all right, very good. And then if we run to this side... Oh, God. Oh, God. We attach this straight onto there. Oh, it's not... It's not a thing. It's not a thing. Also, they're not even connected together. Alright, I didn't do it yet. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. So, realistically... Where is it? Where is it? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Rope. Okay, so this has to connect to there. Which is very strange. Uh, and we'll have a little look on the inside to do that first. And then we'll figure out something to uh, actually make this work. So to get inside of this thing, we don't go underneath anymore. I forgot. I have been away. I've actually been in London for a bit. But yes, here we go. Uh, and that doesn't look too bad. Considering we've got all of this going on as well, it's okay. All right, so both, they're empty. Okay, it is empty. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a pivot just to test this. Purely to test it. We're going to get ourselves a pivot. We're going to put it on... Here like this, and then we'll attach this to said pivot. There we go. Delete that, and then we'll actually get an anchor or an yeah an anchor, and we'll attach that to there, and that should be fine. All right. On the other side, we don't need this. There we go. Let's see if this works. Okay. So we grab the diesel. There we go, and we run backwards. We jump up. We get on the wing, and then we refuel it, and that's it. It's all we need to do. That is it. That is all. Alright, here we go. Jump up. Good. And run to the other side. Come on. There we go. Attach this onto there. And then watch the dials move. Alright, one of them is. The other one, however, is not. Ah. That's not good. That's not good. One of the fuel tanks is working. Oh, you know why? You know why? Because one of them has a thing and one of them doesn't. Yeah, we don't actually have a thing on this side. This is... this. It's not connected to anything. It's not actually... <laughs> it's not connected to anything. There we go. All right. Now it should work fine. But now I don't have a hose. So that's not very good. I've, I've put a hose on here. There we go. That's fine. Uh, and we should be able to just... In fact, we'll do it the other way around. No, we shouldn't. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter which way around we do this. As long as we got enough fuel left. 9,300. That's enough fuel. Uh, we're going to jump on the wing. Oh, oh, God. Once again. Woo! There we go. Okay. Jump up. Jump up, jump up to get down. All right, there we go. Run around the other side. Connect it straight onto here. And make sure both of those turn. Okay. So the left tank is filling quickly. The right tank, however, is filling very slowly. And that does make sense. Because it's got further to go and... Yeah, so the left tank will fill first. But that doesn't necessarily mean there's a problem. We are still refueling. So I guess that's okay. I guess that's fine. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what if? What if we actually add a pump to both sides? Maybe that will actually help. So we delete these two right here. Actually, it's three, isn't it? Pump. Uh, and it will always only go one way with this system, so that's fine. Uh, and actually, we'll use this type of pump right here, because why not? <laughs> why not? So fluid out, it actually has to go the other way around. Like this. There we go, which is annoying, because then this piece has to move. But that's okay. Let me get a pipe. And we'll sort it out. Okay, so that goes there. As long as we are one away from this, that's fine. 
We can then attach this guy to here, this guy to here, and that's fine. So then, this turns on whenever this is connected. Right? Whenever this is connected, it sends a signal to this to turn on. I think that makes sense. I could be completely wrong though, but we'll see. Alright, so do that to there, do that to there, and how do I know if these are working? I don't know. Alright, save it. Um, for now anyway. As do -a -do -a -do -a -do -a -do -a There we go, and we can probably see if that works by doing this. Alright, that should be fine. Okie dokie, so currently it is not working because obviously we haven't connected it, but if we are connecting it, there we go. Is it going to do anything? Uh, this one is filling up very quickly. That one, on the other hand, is not filling up at all. Okay. <laughs> we, we're going to do a lot of testing here. What if, right, what if this side doesn't have a pump at all? Is that weird? All right, so make sure we only do it on one side. Delete this, delete this, delete this. Attach those guys together. Spawn it in. We might need a slower pump. But I guess that would be fine. If it works. Also, can I select this pump and make it... Oh, there we go. Alright, we'll make it like 30%. Okay, we'll see if this works. I'm doing it from this side this time. So, uh, yeah, whatever. Sue me! There we go. Right, good. We have done it. Let's get back up onto the roof and see how fast these guys are spinning. Alright, so that one's spinning really fast and this one's spinning really slow. Maybe if we put the worst pump in, that would be fine. Yeah, because look at that. So it's stealing it now. It is stealing all of it. All of the fuel is going to the right. That's not good. What if we turned on the pumps individually? What if we had it blink? If we had it blink, that would be cool. And that would work. Maybe. I don't know. Would it? I'm not sure. All right, we are once more connected. And that one has started very quickly. And this one is not moving. All right, it's on 5%, that. That's 5%. That's crazy. Uh, right, okay. If we have pumps on both of them, but one of them is stronger than the other, maybe that'll work. Who knows? At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter as long as it's filling both of them. The fuel tanks are actually very small anyway, so uh, there isn't an awful lot of weight in them. So I guess it doesn't matter if one of them is like weighs more than the others. Uh, the gyro should sort that out at least a little bit. Uh, let's get back on board. Here we go, and we'll check out what it's doing. All right, what are you doing? So the left side filling quicker than the, the other side. And yes, that is a lot worse. Oh, God. Adding the pumps is just a bad idea. It doesn't help at all. One of them goes way quicker than the other one. And that's just how it works. I don't know how much fuel we actually have altogether anyway. So I'm going to continue filling until this is full. And we'll see how full these actually get. Also, we'll see if it quickens this side up once this is full. Good test. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. So this is full, and then this one starts spinning really quickly anyway. So, yeah, all right. I'm actually fine with that. I am fine with that. Because we got pumps on both sides, and they do both work. So, I guess we'll keep it just like that. And that is fine. That is our aerial refueling system. Uh, which is a-okay. We do need to fill in these holes uh, that aren't actually there anymore. Because this is a different version, but that's okay. Uh, and this... Needs deleting right there, and that's okay. That's it. That's all we need. Good. Yeah. I don't know whether we want to angle this up, or whether that being down there is actually fine. I'm not sure. I really don't know whether that being angled... I don't know. I want to say that's okay. But I feel like we should angle it at the same time, so I don't know. I I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm sure it'll be okay. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, I'm also going to go ahead and delete the hose because that is no longer necessary. And we're also going to go back in and we're going to start with full tanks because we should. There we go. Full jet fuel. Uh, and full jet fuel. We should actually make the tanks bigger too. Considering we've got so much space in, in this thing. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let's get back inside and we'll actually see how fuel efficient this thing is. Because at the moment... I want to say it's not very fuel efficient. Also, just as a side note, we need gearboxes. We do. So when I added these propellers, I didn't actually add a gearbox to either of them, and they don't actually provide us with that much power. So we're going to put a gearbox in, which is going to be a very, uh, yeah, just that. There we go. And we're going to make it three to two, 
and we're going to give it electricity, and that should be fine. All right, do this one as well, three to two. Now they're going to be quite powerful, so don't know how taxiing is going to go, but we'll see. Okie dokie, jet engines are on indeedy, yes, okay. Uh, so hopefully they work, there we go, they are working. The propellers are going to push us forwards, no matter what, because we don't have a collective on them. Uh, and that's okay, all right, here we go. Uh-oh. Also, if you guys love my webcam, uh, you guys will definitely like how it looks right now, right? Because it's just a bit... Ooh, it's a bit too much, isn't it? There's a lot of light on my right. There is no light on my left. So that is why we are... We are shiny. We are shiny boys. Anyway, go ahead and start the jet engine again. I have a plan. So if I hold down arrow... That'll actually stop the jet engines from pushing me forwards. And that means we'll purely be relying on the propellers. Which is good, because they start off quite slow. They will push us forwards a little bit, and that'll be great. We should be able to just, like, move with the propellers, turn with the propellers, and be one with the propellers. Okay, here we go. And then once we want to take off, we jet engines, and off we go. Good. Okay, that's, that's pretty decent. Nice. Alright, press forward to lift up the landing gear, and we are flying. This plane is fantastic. Alright, how's our fuel? Okay, so we do use quite a lot of fuel, considering. But that's alright. It's okay. Go ahead and turn the gyro on. We will start wobbling like crazy. Yep, yeah, but we're good. Alright, so fuel's going down very, sort of very slowly, for a jet engine anyway. For two jet engines. Uh, our speed is 105, and that's all good. Can we make us go faster? I've limited the throttle, so we are only 105, that's okay. Uh, altitude is still going up, but that's okay. And are we using fuel at the same time? Yes. Okay, that's good. So, I want to test something. Can we fly with purely the propellers and not the jet engine without actually inputting any... No, we can't. The gyro automatically makes us dive, and that's not good. But if we do pitch up, we maintain our speed, uh, we maintain our altitude, and we also... I don't know whether we use less fuel. I don't think we do. I don't think we do. But that's awesome. That is super cool. Yeah, I like it. Also, there's our aerial refueling thing right there. I feel like it should maybe be on a pivot, but I'm not so sure. Um, yeah, it should probably be pointing upwards. If anything. The... yeah. Maybe we'll do it like that, actually. Let's go back, and we'll actually just put it on a thing. There's no reason for it to not just be pointing up, except, like, air resistance, but what is air resistance, you know? You know what I mean? Um, also, is there anything connected to it? There is. So we need to connect it back up, but that's okay. So delete this, delete this, delete this. Go ahead and put ourselves some pipes in. And that's it. We'll put a pipe right there. Fill all of this into there. And we'll actually just put it right on there. So fluid. Connector. That's what we need, wherever the connector may be. It's hiding. Why is it hiding? There it is. Alright, it's the first one. It wasn't hiding at all. There we go. We'll put it on there like that. And honestly, we'll just have it fit in a little bit, just like this. Alright, cool. So when that's connected to, it needs to start the large fuel fluid pump down there, the large fluid pump down there, and that's it. Good. Alright, fantastic. That is our refueling port right there. Good. I suppose we should sort of paint it the right colours, so I think it should actually be red uh, all the way around. Uh, just like this, that's fine. And just like this as well, so we can actually see that that is our refueling port right there. And that's where the boom operator will put the boom. Except, I think the only tanker in the game is not a, um, not a boom. It's not a boom, it's drogues. So... I don't know how that'll work, but I feel like we could still do that. I'm pretty sure that'll still be fine. But anyway, um, we've added it, so that's pretty good. I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys do enjoy these videos. Uh, and if you did, please leave a like on the video down below. That'd be awesome. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.